rapidly and inexplicably comes off his mushroom high, and the ninja fight the attacking hunters. The top hunter, Heavy Metal, has a fancy sword that sucks. The ninja are once again captured. Lloyd's friends are building a tank they got from Ikea, and Lloyd has nothing good to say about it. Mistake teaches Lloyd better leadership by having Karloff beat up Dareth and making Lloyd watch. Then she orders the Resistance to crash Garmadon's TV show and ruin his ratings. Lloyd and friends sneak into Garmadon's tower. Garmadon's Lloyd raider goes off, and he orders Harumi to up security. Nuro immediately neutralizes the security using karaoke. Skylar saves them from right under Garmadon's nose using invisible shadows. While their friends are being used as dragon bait, Cole and Wu make s'mores with the mimes around the campfire. They learn that Heavy Metal's fancy sword is carved from a piece of Firstborn, the mother of all dragons. Iron Baron has a personal grudge against this dragon, who took half his limbs and possibly some organs after an ill-advised poker bet. He wants the golden dragon armor, which will allow him to control Firstborn. The next activity at Camp Mime is dragon hunting. A dragon shows up and the hunters catch it. Cole and Wu openly try to free their friends during the chaos, but fail. The dragon hunters find nothing wrong with this. Lloyd and friends finally break into Garmadon's TV studio, and Lloyd makes an inspirational speech for the people. Harumi tries to ruin it by making him watch his least favorite home movies, which almost works. Then Lloyd sees some pictures of all the friends Garmadon's already caught, and inspired by how many of Ninjago's people have already betrayed his allies for money, he rallies and finishes the speech. Harumi and her helpers are just in time to watch Lloyd escape.